This is going to be a review of the chicken breast fillets, fully cooked breaded chicken breast with red meat, Kirkwood brand from the Aldi's. And this package came by way of Instacart, so obviously it's going to be more expensive. This from Instacart, where I'm at, $6.59. I looked it up online. And I've seen at some places you can get it $5.99 in the store. How many people come in this? Let's see. Uh, serving about four servings per container. So I assume there's probably four chicken breast fillets in this bag, but I'm not sure until I cut it open. So I'm going to cut it open now. I'm going to cook it by way of toaster oven. 450 degrees to the toaster oven, 20 minutes each side. Even though the instructions say, well, at least for a conventional oven, be at 400, put it on a baking sheet, 20 minutes one side, and 15 to 20 minutes on the other side. Well, I'm going to do it at 450, because I need to keep the toast oven to 450 no matter what, <laughs> and just go from there. Uh, let's see. So how many pieces we got in there? Well, it's like quite a bit more than four. Okay, that's cool. So we yeah, got one, two... One, two, three, four, five, six. And serving size is about filet. So, okay. So it's almost at this price, whether it be five ninety nine or six something, looks to be about a dollar filet. And you usually get a well, if you don't need the brioche, you can get a whole loaf of bread for like a dollar and make it out cheap and a Chick fil A. But so far it smells pretty good. And I'm going to see what it tastes like. It's a dope or nope, how to not, and go from there. We're going to put it on a baking sheet. As such, you know, I see I got the oil on it, canola oil, because I don't want to stick. But I don't want to get too soggy by oil on each individual piece on both sides. So we're going to put two pieces on the tray. Smells good, it's going to season. Put it in the toaster oven. Turn on 450 into preheated toaster oven. That, that warmed up for about 15 minutes. Put this thing on 20 minutes. And then we'll come back and flip it. We're coming up on the end of the cooking time for the first side. First side, 20 minutes. Second side, I will do an additional 20 minutes. I'll put it on the middle rack, just so you know, and when I put it back in, it will be on the middle rack as well. Should be about a minute left, less than a minute left, and we'll pull it out, flip it over, put it back in. The smell, you can smell that breading a little bit, spices on it, and I'm sure once I open it, I will smell it even more. Have it. And we're going to flip it over now. Yeah, you smell the seasoning on it. It smells pretty good. Smells better than a traditional chicken patty, if you will. And hopefully it tastes better. <laughs> I'm sure it will, because it's actual filet, not a patty. All right, middle rack. Close it up. Another 20 minutes. Then we'll take it out, let it cool down, and test it. Back, be back in 20. All right, 20 minutes is up. I'm gonna pull this out and allow it to cool down right for about five minutes, and then we'll try it out. I don't know why I'm saying will we we will try it out because it's pretty much gonna be just it is me that's trying it out, but I'm kind of saying we like you all the viewer, me right here, trying it out together, if you will. 
Looks good. Looks like it firmed up. Got somewhat crispy. Looks like the bread is cooked. So 20 and 20. In a toast oven. Set to 450. We'll come back in about five minutes. Try it out. And we're back. Let's take one of these. Put it on the plate. And I'm going to cut it up. Take a piece. Take a piece and see what's good. You know, as we tell the filet, you see the meat with striation. You know, it's not packed meat. Just warm. We'll go ahead and try it. Okay. Oh, that's good. Not Chick Fil A, good, but this tastes good. I definitely enjoy the taste. I would definitely get this over a chicken at McDonald's, even as a low bar. Mm. I don't have that frozen taste to it. Good. Good bread, very flavorful. Pretty good. So yeah, it's dope. It's good. You get a Chick Fil A? No. I would like. I like it better than a McChicken at McDonald's. But McDonald's is still about convenience as well. If you're out, that's more convenient. But if you're at home, can't make it up for whatever reason or whatever else. This is the way to go. So yeah, thumbs up to this Kirkwood breaded fillet. It's good. Not as good as Chick Fil A. Not as good as Popeyes, but it's good in its own right. So yeah, definitely check it out. You like the flavor of this? At least, at least I do. But yeah, it's definitely worth a try. Icebreak Jim out. Deuces.